Matt Peterson here along with Cougar Blues' Jared Lloyd. Right after the game of the Elite Eight between BYU and North Carolina for women's soccer, and it was Jared the Tar Heels who came away with a 2-1 victory, again in dramatic fashion, double overtime. It was an exciting game. You know, North Carolina has an incredible team. They've got a couple of players that have been on national teams. Uh, they were talking in the post-game press conference that at times this year they've been down up to six players because they've been on national teams. That's a phenomenal amount of talent on this North Carolina team, but BYU played them toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Got down early, the Cougars got down early, but came back with a penalty kick, tied it up, ended up going to, to double overtime and single overtime the first overtime. BYU had a chance to win it. Lindsey Lisenby cut Shaw with a great breakaway, touched it past the keeper, but the touch was just a touch too far and couldn't get to it. And in the end, uh, it was North Carolina that came up with the big play at the end. And to be honest, Matt, North Carolina probably deserved this victory. They had the most opportunities. They had a lot more shots, a lot more corners, put a lot of pressure on the BYU defense. Now the BYU defense stepped up and played well, but when it comes right down to who earned this win, I'd have to give the nod to North Carolina, and they're the team that will be moving on to San Diego to play in the Final Four. Yeah, BYU really captured, I think, just the, the the attention of all the fan base here as the football and the basketball teams have been kind of struggling more or less. Uh, you saw all the fans just uh, coming out here, uh, tweeting, Facebooking, everything was about this team, and, and it seemed like every chance they got tonight to even just get a possession for a few seconds that the fan base was going crazy well this team has a great base and you know the coach Rockwood has talked about it all season they had great turnout after and before BYU football games which is really a beast to go up against here in Provo because there's a lot of people that that head to the football games but not only was the fan base energized but they got a lot of the casual sports fans that really got interested in this team and it was a special group of young ladies that really had an incredible year and it's great to see that the fans recognize that. Over 4,000 people came out on Thanksgiving weekend <laughs> to watch a women's soccer game. That's really saying something for the program that Jennifer Rockwood has built here in BYU. The fan support is absolutely outstanding. It's a fun game to watch, very exciting. Any moment can really turn things around. And, and I really think that the, uh, the soccer IQ here in this area proved out that you know, there's a lot of people that understand this game, enjoy it, and they showed up tonight, and, and I really think they kept BYU in this game for much of the contest. Weren't able to quite will them to victory, but they were right there against a very good Tar Heel squad. BYU coming up just short in the Elite Eight round of the NCAA tournament, falling 2-1 to one in double overtime to North Carolina. Again, this is Matt Pearson with Jared Lloyd of CougarBlue.com. <laughs>